Yeah, we so we went down to Minneapolis, Theodore Worth Park for our CCSA Conference Championships last weekend. And um, it was really, really a cool experience because uh, those courses will host a World Cup next year. So it was, it was fun to be able to race on some really tough uh, courses that will be featured in international competition. Um, and then, you know, to get into our championship racing period here, uh, which everybody was pretty hungry to do so. Um, you know, we had, uh, we had uh, our college races, and then there was also big junior events going on, as well as what's called the Super Tour, which is um, basically the professional uh, circuit for um, for the U.S. So, so it was a big field, and um, it really drove a lot of performances at the top, um, uh, not just for our student athletes, but for the whole field. So that was uh, that was a cool thing, and it's it's really uh, I think helps push the pace for our student athletes too in these in these sort of championship uh, events, and helps us really prepare for hopefully even bigger championship events later in the season, like. Regionals coming up this weekend, as well as um, uh, the NCAA skiing championships in the first week in March. Um, we had a bit of a tough day on Saturday. Um, you know, we had a few of our student athletes not able to to really finish the races due to you know some health issues, and and but at the same time, all of those student athletes, every single one that had a really tough day on Saturday, came back on Sunday with a bit of a chip on their shoulder and really used used their tough experience on Saturday to fuel um, some strong performances on Sunday. And um, yeah, it was great to, to, to see them deal with that sort of adversity and uh, to be able to pull out um, some good individual performances and then really, you know, a solid second place CCSA uh, team on the, on the weekend. Uh, we, we talked about it a little bit, but I think really what we talked about in our meeting on Saturday evening was that, um, you know, every race day is a fresh slate, no matter if you've had a good one or a bad one. And so you have to be able to have that perspective going into it and, and also to make sure that we're, that we're being able to, to use that, like I said, as fuel for, for Sunday's races. Um, so some student athletes do really well when they're a little bit angry or pissed off from the day before. And so we actually told them, yeah, you use that to your advantage tomorrow and make sure you carry that into the race so that you really have, you really have a want to be able to go out there and achieve, um, uh, you know, first here and then here. And that's, that, I think that was, that was kind of our, our general messaging, but really it's, it's up to them to be able to execute that. And so in the end, I think it was really cool to see that all student athletes that had a tough one on Saturday were able to bounce back and have solid days on Sunday. Yeah, being able to be home for hosting the 2019 NCAA Central Regional Skiing Championships is huge for us. Um, you know, as this is our last qualifying weekend for NCAA skiing championships. Uh, we really are going to seek to take advantage of our of our home course courses and and really the the fact that we feel nobody knows how to race our courses better than us. Um, you know we obviously get to train on them every single day and uh, and we've had every student athlete on our team whether they're a freshman or they're a senior has had countless, uh, countless race experiences on those. So they really know how to execute um, uh, a good race on that course. And that's really effective going, that's really meaningful and effective. And, and going into this last weekend, uh, or sorry, this NCAA Regional Championship weekend, because, you know, <clears throat> because it'll hopefully allow us to be able to get those uh, qualifying spots that we need and allow the student athletes, especially that are right on the bubble, of qualifying to be able to, to use that to their advantage to hopefully jump up in the rankings. Um, so we, we try not to plan too far out with training, but we plan in, uh, I guess, segments, you know, two week segments. And, and really what, what we try to do, especially in our championship period, is make sure that we're really paying attention to, um, to how well we're, we're uh, going into each weekend and performing each weekend, and then how well we're recovering as a team uh, uh, after that weekend. And I think especially, you know, with back-to-back -back race weekends like we're going to experience this this upcoming weekend with 
having had the CCSA championships last weekend and then and then having to race again two races this weekend with the NCAA regional championships recovery is obviously the big focus going into the first part of the week and then it's all about race preparation the second half of the week so we try to get a solid workout in on on Wednesday that helps wake the body up more than anything and uh, and then really uh, be able to to focus on really good pre-race stuff with uh, you know with uh, some short speed work as well as um, as wax and ski testing a lot on Friday um, and making sure that we're uh, we're we're really we're really trying to be as prepared as we possibly can um, uh, going into those races uh, physically but also with our equipment and 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 all of our waxing and every little aspect that goes into being able to have a good performance and uh, and make sure that all those things are are in alignment so that so that really then our athletes can go out and just ski hard and, and put a good effort in and hopefully that that um, transgresses into a, a great great performance and, and great team day. Yeah, so I mean we really do believe our best is yet to come and and I think really you know you, we we put a lot of emphasis on the end of the season and 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 we also just instill more so than anything a lot of confidence in in everybody that that you know that we have the ability to to both get get to the championships which is the first step but then uh to, but then to make sure that you know we have we have the ability to perform our best when it counts the most and um and that's a tough thing in any sport to be able to do because really it's more it's more mental we believe than anything um because at that point you know when you get to to the end of your season you've done all the physical preparations that you can and if if you're really trying to approach it as professionally as possible which which all of our student athletes certainly are then really you have to have that confidence that your preparation is there and that you know that your fitness is there so then it just becomes time to execute and um, and that's the fun thing about sport you never know when you're going to have a good day or a bad day um, but if you have that belief and confidence that you know that especially towards the end of the season when you really you want to have your best day that you know that you've done everything you can uh, in preparation to get to that day in a great spot then I think that does speak speak volumes to just being able to go out there and execute uh, the best performance that you can possibly have yeah we we set a pretty lofty goal I think at the beginning of the season as a team that we wanted to win NCAA or NCAA regional championships and um, and that's still a goal of ours uh, I think it's a it's definitely going to be a reaching goal um, and that the reason is because uh, NMU is is looking so strong right now on the men and the women's side and um, and certainly we're going to have to produce some serious podium results across the board on both the men's and women's sides if we want to be in contention for that uh, and say uh, Central Region Championship team title. Uh, I think above above all though, uh, our biggest expectations are that we can send two women to the NCAA Skiing Championships after this weekend through some through finishing off the regular season here in a good spot and uh, and see, seek to qualify three men uh, to represent the Huskies at the 2019 NCAA Skiing Championships after this weekend, which. You know, right now we have uh, two women uh, in, in a qualifying position. We have two men in a qualifying position. So to get that third guy is going to be tough, but it is, it is pretty wide open. And we do think that last spot is certainly going to come down to this last weekend. So it'll be exciting to see who's, who's ready to step up to that challenge. And, uh, and I think it's a cool thing for our region, too, because really, you know, we should be rewarding uh, the skiers to be able to represent our region at that NCAA championships um, who are skiing the best at the regional championships. Um, I think that's the fairest way to do it. And, uh, and really, I think um, no, none of the student athletes if, if from any of the teams will have an, any animosity as long as they know that, that the region's sending the best team and, and that the best skiers are able to go after um, their performances at regionals.